I've been uh, working with the Philip Glass Days and Nights Festival as the Director of Community Engagement for the last six years. Um, in talking with them, uh, in my studio I had a copy of the old book, War and the Weather, and I talked about how I wanted to do this project, and the festival executive director got really interested in it and invited me to develop the film at the festival. It's based on a book that was published in 1891 by a retired Civil War general who argued that the noise of warfare causes rain. I'm working with Philip Glass and he's going to um, be allowing me to use his piano concerto number two as the soundtrack for the film. Timothy David Orme is an animator and I've been watching his work on the internet over the past, I think, seven years and I'm a big fan and so um, he wrote me one day and said, look at my new film. And I said, I love it. And he said, what are you working on? And I told him about this project. And he offered to work with me as, as the lead animator on the film. I'm here animating and helping kind of figure out the art direction of the animations and the style of the animations that we're doing. Um, I'm not doing all of the animations. Ina's doing some of them and I'm kind of overseeing them. Um, but we're putting those together and creating some of the images that serve as kind of the backbone of the film um, that kind of combine things. My job was to come here and figure out what, what kind of process would work good for this and then do some experiments and then uh, execute from, from that point and, uh, and then try to do it uh, as quickly and as effectively as possible, I think. What we've done um, in this room, we have a station that's just for recording voiceover, which this film has more voiceover than my last film had no voiceover. So we have a microphone and recording station. We have piles of books because this film is really lots of research and I'm pulling archival images from them. We have painting section with palettes and brushes where we're actually hand live painting and animating. We have um, computers to sort of create the animations and the edits. Um, and we have a station where I'm projecting some footage that I got onto canvas and refilming it to give it a different kind of treatment. So every day we've come in, made a list of all the shots and things that we need to get done, and then we just do them. We're here in the CSU Monterey Bay Cinematic Arts Studio, um, and I've been working with students and alumni at every phase of this production, from even research and development to filming all the interviews with the scientists and the historian experts um, and political scientists, um, from working on post-production to uh, even the production company that I work with, Honest Engine Films, really employs exclusively CSU Monterey Bay alumni and students. And so from everything to the promotion, post-production, filming, they've been involved.